Hello, and thanks for joining me. Well, I've got a chuck here. It's the original Logan chuck for my Logan lathe. And uh, it's got about 20,000 wear on the jaws. Uh, some of it might be the scroll. Some of it probably is the scroll. So it depends on what diameter I clamp in there, uh, how much run out it's got. Uh, it's got about 15,000 run out, and to me it's kind of annoying. I'm going to see if I can improve that. And uh, just to pick a ballpark diameter that I usually turn in the chuck, I'm going to use a one inch. So here's what I'm going to do. I've cut three little pieces about an inch long, eighth inch thick, and three quarter wide. And three quarter wide was based on one inch stock in here. It's, it's a little a little loose between the jaws, but I think it'll work. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick them in the middle like that and I'm going to put a radius on that, a one inch radius. Hopefully it'll hold. Okay, I've got a little scrap of one inch in here. I'm taking some MEK to my chuck here. Get it real good and clean. Now, I'm going to set these right in here. And tape them roughly centered between those jaws. Pretty close to the same width anyway. It's a little bit different. Okay, now take that slug out. Tighten the chuck on those. Just like that. Now when I measured the distance between them, they were about, I don't know, I, th I think it was 790, uh, 785. So there was about 5 thousandths difference between them. So these are sacrificial. What I'm doing now is I'm tightening them down to where the pressure is evening out. Those are all held in there really good. So that's loading my center jaws at roughly one inch, just slightly under. Now I can take a boring bar and clean up my jaws. I'm going to go, I got the extension on this one and a half and my jaws are about one and three eighths. So I'm going to go until I'm almost touching and set my carriage stop. I got a carriage stop over here so I won't go too far in. I want to make sure I got my auto feed moving out, which I do. I want to come out till I'm just barely touching the jug. I'm touching right there. I'm going to reset my dial to zero. Go back in and cut on my way out. I like it's just cutting out one tooth, or two maybe. One actually. Which it may be. Let's do like this. It's been cutting on all of them a little bit. Definitely more so one than the other, so. Okay, that means we need to go a little further.
according to my dial, I've taken uh, between 11 and 12 thousandths off. Well, I think we're going to try it. Looks like it's got a wobble. How can that be? <laughs> uh, maybe I was seeing the end of that. Maybe that bar is bent. It's just cold roll. That has about a ten thousandth wobble at least. Okay, I'm going to try this again. I don't know if I didn't go far enough or what, but when I clamped down on them the other time, when I had them flipped over, I made one of them ended up more narrow. So I flipped them over and they all seem to be pretty even. And I'm just going to use the boring bar to... This might be an easier way to do it anyway. Take the boring bar and eat that aluminum out of there. Yeah, I'm right, right where I left off now. Take a little more and see if we can't improve on this a lot. Okay, let's try this again, see what we got. Oh, I can tell it's already better. That it's tightened down fairly even. Oh yeah, I guess I just didn't grind it enough the first time, but we learned something. I flipped these over and just use the boring bar to waste out the radius on the inside that was in the way. Worked really well. Okay, I got about two thousands, I guess. Obviously I'm not working with a very round piece of steel there. That's about an inch and a half away from the chuck. See if I can measure it up. Yeah, it looks like about two thousands out. Well, that's better than twelve or fifteen that I was getting before. Let's try a different diameter. That's one inch diameter, and that's about what I grounded at. I grounded at uh, a little less than one. Maybe seven eighths or fifteen sixteenths. That's even a little better. Not a lot. One and a half maybe. Anyway, I'm tickled with that. Well, 
That's how you grind a chuck, or that's one way anyway. Thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe.